everyone. It's Laura Milligan, lauramilligan.com, and I have just a Facebook Live Take Two today. I'm just going to make one card. On Monday, I featured some cards from the Turtle Friends Bundle, and I have one other card idea I want to share with you today. Um, so let me just make sure that I am in the right place. If you're here, would you hop on and say hello? Um, I know that a couple of you responded that you would be here today. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera view over um, and we will get started. But if you are there, please give me a shout out. Say hello. Um, there's Colleen. Okay. Hi, Colleen. All right. So like I said, I featured the Turtle and Friends bundle in my Facebook Live on Monday. And hi, Myra. And then I, um, I just had another quick idea that I wanted to show you. So let me show you Monday. I was talking about my bingo that I do every month and I was just sharing a couple of the cards that we had made. This is one of them. Super cute. Again, it featured the, my bingo last month for June featured the um, Turtle and Friends bundle. This is a really cute card that we made. They make four projects and then they also get a little treat. And so I sent them this. These are turtle candies, the chocolate covered caramel pecan yummy candies. And so this was just, I just wrapped them quickly and um, that was just a cute little surprise they got. And then <clears throat> I made, hi, Tennessee Gran. Um, hi, Tanae. Hi, Don. Hi, Myra. Oh, having lunch and a movie. Good idea. So, um, this was a card that I made also on Monday. This was not part of our bingo, but it will be a part of my bingo for July. This is called a pinwheel tower card. And you here's the top view and see how it looks like a pinwheel. And basically you spin it around and each side has something different on it. I got a lot of great comments on this. And um, like I said, we'll be making one of these in my bingo for July. So if you haven't signed up for that yet, I would encourage you to do so. We do it via Zoom, super, super fun. And the prizes are Stampin' Up! products. We have stamp sets and bundles and all kinds of different things. <clears throat> so I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. I will, when I'm done with this Facebook Live today, I will add the link if you'd like to register for my bingo. Registration ends Monday, so you have a little bit of time, time yet. So today I'm gonna share a card. Um, so as you know, whenever I use a photopolymer stamp set, which is what the Turtle and Friends is let me just bring this in here so you can see here's the stamp set it's so adorable this is the the coordinating punch and this is the bundle now the turtle punch right now is on back order but you can still order it and i recommend doing that because that way when the when the punches are delivered to the stampin up warehouse you'll already be in line to get one so my recommendation is don't wait, go ahead and order it. If you'd like to place an order, you can go to my blog, lauramilligan.com. I have a cute shopping cart there. You can click on that. It will take you right to my store and you can order that bundle. So anytime I'm using a photopolymer stamp set, I like to use this deluxe foam mat. This is actually an accessory that goes with the stamp apparatus, but I like it because it has measurements here. It's laminated and it just gives a little bit of an extra cushion when you're using photopolymer stamps. And then I have, this is our little grid paper. This also is made for the stamp apparatus. Um, and I just like to tear one of these off and put it here and stamp on that. That way if I wanna check if I've got something inked well enough or whatever, it's here and, and ready to go. So this card today, super simple, like I said, but it seems like from the feedback I get from you, you all like super simple cards. So I know Colleen, you're gonna miss um, bingo this month, I'm sorry. Hi Wendy, hi Donna. Donna, um, you actually want a card, one of the cards that I gave away. I need your mailing address so that I can send it to you. So if you wanna message me when we're done here. All right, so I am just starting out with this. I call it the streamer stamp and I am just going to this is a crumb cake panel. It is cut four by five and a quarter. I'm just gonna stamp a few um, of these streamers on this, on this base here, or on this panel of crumb cake. And I'm just kind of going around the edges. 
and I'm varying the height just to make it look a little bit different. A lot of this isn't going to show. I'm going to be covering the center up, but that looks pretty good. Okay, next I'm going to take this panel. This was cut from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Let me pull these out so you can see them. These are a great set of dies, really good shapes, um, all these different stitch scalloped rectangles, and then these shapes are good as well. Those are called the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I find myself going to those often. I love those shapes and sizes. Um, and so I am going to just stamp um, my greeting and of course, this is this is perfect to go with a turtle stamp set. Happy belated birthday. Sorry, I was slow. So I've got that on here. I'm going to ink this up in garden green. When we did it for my bingo uh, last month, we did a different color, which I will show you when I'm done with this. But um, okay, we're going to put that on there like that. Happy belated birthday. Sorry, I was slow. Then I'm going to take, I have a little circle here, and this was die cut from another set of dies. These also are one of my favorites. Um, these are called Tasteful Labels. Again, it's a great variety of labels, and this is the one that I used. It's neat because it has like double stitching. Kind of reminds me of the sun, sunshine. So those are the Tasteful Labels dies. So I've cut this out. I'm just gonna stamp one of the little turtles on this. There's two little turtles. I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna stamp her in tuxedo black. Yes, Colleen says, kiss, keep it super simple. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to stamp this little turtle on here. She's so cute, like that. And then I have a different stamp with to do her shell, to add some detail to her shell. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that also in garden green. I'm going to turn this to hopefully see where I'm stamping this. Okay, that looks good. All right. I had trouble with that on Monday. I could not get it positioned right, but I, I couldn't see. And now when I turn it so that I can see, I, I stamped it in the right place. Funny how that works, huh? Okay, that's all the stamping we're going to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up my inks. And we'll just go ahead and assemble the card. So I started with a thick basic white card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I've scored it on my paper trimmer at four and a quarter. So that creates that panel. And let's see if I have a bone folder. Yep. I'm going to take this away now. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is adhere my crumb cake panel with my streamers on it. I like to keep my card base flat. Um, when I'm attaching, I just think it's easier to keep it flat. So I'm just going to add a little squiggle of Tombow glue. You know, and I have to say, I, I have not always been a fan of Tombow glue, but because I would, I would put too much on and it would end up all over my fingers. But the more I use it, the more I like it. It's a, it's a kind of a quick, easy way to attach things. All right, now I'm gonna take my happy belated birthday and find my dimensionals and just add some dimensionals to this. So what's everyone up to today? We finally have, well, it's sort of overcast, but it's not pouring down rain for the first time, it seems like forever. Um, what are y'all up to? Anybody stamping? Some of you I know watch sometimes when you're at work on your lunch hour or maybe you just sneak away and watch. <laughs> I appreciate y'all being here. All right. Oh, and you know what? The other thing, I before I attach this, I'm gonna wrap some linen thread around this panel real quickly. Forgot to do that. And I'll just wrap it around a couple times 
that's good. And then what I like to do is actually add another um, dimensional. And that'll help hold all this in place. So I'll just put that right there like that. Go ahead and position this. I don't know what we used to do when I first started stamping. We did not have any, um, I think we barely had any punches. We definitely didn't have die cuts or embossing folders. And I feel like there's such a simple way to add to your project. It just kicks it up. So that was good when we, when we started, you know, having those sorts of things. Okay, I'm gonna tie a bow. Sometimes what I do, and I think I'm gonna do that now, I'm gonna, after I wrap this around, before I tie the bow, I tie a knot, and then I'm gonna tie my bow because that way my linen thread will be tight on this panel. And that's the look I want. I don't want it to be loose. This is just gonna be a little bow. Okay, there we go, just like that. And then I'm going to take a little panel. This is just four inches by one inch. This is a piece of the Regals Designer Series paper. And it's a whole stack of all the colors in the Regals family. Um, this is garden green, which is gonna match the stamping. You could do either side. I really like this medallion image, so I'm gonna use that. And again, I'll take my, um, Hi, Cindy. Hi, Helen. And this is just going to go across this whole panel here like that. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Again, I said it was super simple. And then this is just going to go right here like that. And I am going to go ahead and pop her up. So I'll just put two um, dimensionals on the back of this little circle shape, sunshine shape is what I call it. Good to go. I'll just slide that down a little bit, get that centered. That looks pretty good like that. And then to embellish, I'm just going to add some of the matte black dots. These are some of my favorites. Um, just gonna take my take your pick tool So we are prepping today for the, the um, Quiet Meadow class. The registration for that ended on Monday. And so we are prepping for that. Thank you all that purchased that class. It's gonna be a great one. I know you're gonna really love it. So that's what we're working on today among many other things. But all right, so here is my card. So cute and so simple. Um, let me just give this a good crease. There it is. Now the one that we made when we did bingo, we used cherry cobbler, different color scheme. So I don't know, which one do you like better? Cherry cobbler or the garden green? I love the garden green with the crumb cake. I think that's really pretty, but I love this as well. So <clears throat> that's what I wanted to show you today. Um, if there are any of these products that you'd like to order, you can just go to my blog, lauramilligan.com. And like I said, there's a, there's a really cute little shopping cart. You can click on that. It will take you right to my store to place an order. Um, if you want the Turtle and Friends, the Turtle Friends bundle, like I said, the punch is on back order, but you can still order it. That way you will be in line for when it does come into the warehouse, you'll be one of the first ones to receive it. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that you have a great day and um, I will be back on Monday. I'm gonna share some of some Christmas in July project ideas and I look forward to seeing you then. As always, I hope you have time to be creative today. Bye-bye everyone.